So what about this uh, this fit in Milwaukee legs? Well, look, first of all, Budenholzer is a guy that's got a lot of respect around the league, had a great relationship with his players in Atlanta. Um, and I think the fact that you heard they set up a breakfast meeting with Budenholzer and Antetokounmpo, I love the idea because they probably had already made their mind up. But what you're doing by allowing that to happen before you announce the hire, you're empowering Antetokounmpo, right? You're making the star player feel like, you know what, we really would like you to sign off on this, yep. even though, you know, he's not going to determine it. He's not going to nix it or tell you who to hire. You don't want to ever give a player that much power. Right. But the fact that you did give him a feeling of, hey, you know, you come to me, it's a, that's a sign of respect. Great point. And now I'm going to go have breakfast with Mike Budenholzer. We're going to see if we can hit it off. Obviously, that, that meeting went well, and now Mike Budenholzer is your coach. By all accounts, this guy really knows what he's doing. He's obviously a spur protege, came from Greg Popovich, great success in Atlanta. They went into trust the process mode down there. He doesn't want any part of that. Right. So he goes, he's got a star player to build around and a team that's got some really nice young pieces around him. I think it's a great fit. I think, I think you couldn't have done much better than Mike Budenholzer.